Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Wigan Dubbed, and I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Lee was found guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking this week, but won't be sentenced until next May, after R. Kelly's lawyer successfully negotiated one more school year. Uh, in, the wake, <laughs> in the wake of the R. Kelly verdict, there's a growing movement online to force music streaming services to remove his music. I mean, after all, streaming is basically what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> Barack Obama is being criticized by Chicago residents who claim that his new presidential library will lead to gentrification. And for me, it's another painful reminder that Obama is half white. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell that joke. A new study finds that young adults with depression have a higher risk of dementia later in life, which explains Billie Eilish's upcoming album, Where Am I? Purdue University researchers have created the whitest paint on record. The paint is so white, I'm its favorite part of SNL. Pharmaceutical company Merck announced that it has developed an experimental antiviral pill that can treat people infected with COVID. The treatment is just waiting on approval from either the FDA or the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Singer Arch. Well, it is very exciting to be back. You know, uh, the first show last season, COVID was raging everywhere. There was no vaccine. We were in the middle of an intense election. And uh, right before we went on the air, the producers were like, uh, hey, real quick, the president might be dying. So uh, have fun out there. It was an exciting time for the show. And uh, well, the big story this year. <laughs> and grandma, if you're watching, go to bed. <laughs> Lego, Lego has announced the release of its largest set ever, a 9,000-piece replica of the Titanic. Unfortunately, hundreds of those pieces are just frozen Irishmen. A statue of George Floyd on display in a New York City park was defaced for the second time. Police are searching for the suspect and are planning to serve him with a job application. <laughs> It's been a pleasure working here, it really has. Bill Cosby said he thinks R. Kelly, quote, got railroaded following the singer's sex trafficking conviction. Cosby made the comments in the latest issue of Not Helping Magazine. <laughs> this week, Instagram was down for an entire day, forcing many Instagram addicts to fill their time with Twitter, TikTok, or hosting SNL. <laughs> Fox News turned 25 this week and they celebrated their birthday the same way I do, by paying white women to say some nasty stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get it. Oh my God. Uh, one of Hugh Hefner's former girlfriends revealed that the Playboy Mansion is haunted. She knew it was haunted because if you turn on a black light, you see ectoplasm everywhere. <laughs> The Rolling Stones announced they will no longer play their 1971 song, Brown Sugar, which is about having sex with a slave. Something I wish I'd realized before I chose it at karaoke. A California ranch once owned by Ronald Reagan is being, is being threatened by a large wildfire. Crews are hoping to put out the blaze by pouring water onto a nearby hill and hoping it trickles down. <laughs> so you did get that one. Colin Kaepernick revealed that he has maintained his 5 a.m. training regimen in case he gets called back up to the NFL. But the Giants are still going to stick with their current quarterback, a scarecrow on a Roomba. <laughs> Logistical delays caused by worker shortages and COVID outbreaks have doubled the time it takes for some products to get from Asia to the U.S. Now, this might sound crazy, but could we use bats? Because <laughs> the last time bats carried something, it got everywhere real quick. <laughs> Uh, pro bat crowd? <laughs> Transportation infrastructure. <laughs> I guess that's an improvement on like a survival of the human race level, but it's not great for TV. So if we could all just pretend to be excited about this next joke, <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. The infrastructure bill. <laughs> it's been delayed indefinitely. So I guess we'll just cross that bridge when it collapses on top of us. <laughs> Researchers in Uganda have observed a chimpanzee masturbating with a plastic bottle. Once full, the bottle was capped and sold as Dasani.
The NBA announced that unvaccinated players will not be paid for any games missed due to local vaccine mandates. But that won't matter. NBA players have a long, proud history of losing money because they refuse to use protection. (laughs) Biden also got his COVID booster shot at the White House live on camera. And based on this photo, it either really hurt or felt really good. (laughs) Pfizer has also submitted data to the FDA to approve its COVID vaccine for kids under 11, which means they could be vaccinated by Halloween. Because what goes better with Halloween than needles? (laughs) Facebook's also denying a report that says using Instagram can cause users to develop a negative body image, which explains their rival's new slogan, TikTok, bring your fat ass over here. Doctors say that a man who came into an emergency room complaining about chest pains had a 10 centimeter chunk of cement lodged in his heart. Wow, anyways, he's dead. A, 90... <laughs> a 96-year-old German woman who was a secretary at a Nazi concentration camp has been released from detention. She is now safely in the custody of her grandson. <laughs> Clint Eastwood was awarded $6 million in a lawsuit against a company that illegally used his image to sell their cannabis products. Because nothing says relaxed and stress-free like Clint Eastwood's face. <laughs> It's just that. It, it was reported that ahead of the deadline for all New York City schools employees to get vaccinated, more than 18,000 employees got at least one shot last week. And hopefully some of them got the vaccine, too. In the wake of R. Kelly's sex trafficking conviction, YouTube has removed two channels linked with the singer, one for his singing and the other about how to remove stains. <laughs> Secretary Pete Buttigieg is being criticized for remaining on paternity leave with his husband and twin babies while supply chain problems threaten the holiday shopping season. Said conservatives, see, you let gay couples have kids and God cancels Christmas. A woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14-pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. (laughs) It's a mad joke. (laughs) Archaeologists in Israel have discovered a 1,500-year-old winery. Wow, it's crazy that Jewish people have been making wine for that long and they still haven't gotten any good at it. (laughs) DC DC Comics announced that the new Superman will be bisexual. Yes, they uh, also announced that the Riddler has always been down for whatever. (laughs) Raiders head coach John Gruden resigned after the discovery of homophobic, misogynistic, and racist emails he sent. And clearly the emails are indefensible, but does anyone want to be judged by their old emails? I mean, if you could see half the emails Chase sends me. Actually, I'll I'll show you one. (laughs) The subject line is, listen up, honky. And then the body of the email just says, I wish they got you instead of Harambe. A new report shows that President Biden is on average 22 minutes late for public events. Worse, he only does it to appeal to black voters. The Brooklyn Nets have banned star player Kyrie Irving from the team until he's finally vaccinated. And as a New York sports fan, I hope this decision finally forces Kyrie to do the right thing and buy a fake vaccination card. (laughs) A Colorado Colorado woman who posts on OnlyFans said that praying before sex with her husband allows her to experience a threesome with God. A threesome that doesn't end until thy kingdom comes. A group of online sleuths are trying to track down an individual who has been pelting Chicago residents with raw eggs. So good news, Chicago may finally be running out of bullets. (laughs) This this year marks the 50th anniversary of Disney World. To celebrate (laughs) turning 50, Disney has opened a new ride, Mr. Goofy's Wild Colonoscopy. (laughs) Welcome back, guys. Hard to transition out of that. Well, some Catholics... <laughs> Some Catholics around the country are claiming religious exemption to the COVID vaccine because there's nothing more Catholic than letting someone else die for your sins. <laughs> President Biden met with House Democrats yesterday to make a case for his Build Back Better budget plan. And no matter what you think about Biden's plan, you got to admire the confidence of a guy with a stutter naming something the Build Back Better budget plan. <laughs> Yesterday, President Biden issued a historic proclamation for Indigenous Peoples Day. Biden made the announcement just moments after his staff talked him out of wearing the headdress. (laughs) 
Indigenous Peoples Day, by the way, will be observed simultaneously with Columbus Day. And uh, this just in, Columbus Day has forced Indigenous Peoples Day to move to a worse day. <laughs> Florida police discovered a meth lab on the 15th floor of a luxury condo building, which in Florida is something they list in the brochure. <laughs> Harry Styles revealed that his 2019 song, Watermelon Sugar, is about the female orgasm. He also revealed the full title of the song is Watermelon Sugar, and in parentheses, is a myth. <laughs> well, well, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, seen here watching a child fall into the gorilla enclosure. <laughs> McConnell has agreed to a deal to temporarily raise the debt ceiling through early December. And then at that point, it'll be almost Christmas, and McConnell will be busy going around to Toys for Tots bins and gluing them shut. A British woman was shocked when she discovered a four-foot-long python in her toilet. But hey, that's Indian food for you. Officials with Waymo, a self-driving taxi service, say that after a year, the robo-taxi taxis still have trouble with left turns and puddles, which explains Waymo's slogan, let's get in Waymo accidents. <laughs> economics, economics joke. Music commentators are noting that upcoming releases from Taylor Swift and Adele signal a shift in the industry from hot girl summer to sad girl autumn. <laughs> yes, yeah, which is followed, as always, by messy diva Christmas. Experts say, experts say that by 2026, Disney Plus will surpass Netflix to become the top streaming platform in the world. Not so fast, said Pornhub. <laughs> A new study shows that coronavirus can cause infertility in men. See, so it's not all bad. <laughs> At a Republican rally in Virginia, attendees recited the national anthem to a flag allegedly used during the Capitol riots. You could tell the flag was from the riots because it was soaked in pepper spray and Mountain Dew code red. <laughs> the Biden administration's climate plan is likely to be dropped from the budget bill after Senator Joe Manchin refused to support it. But you know what? I'm not going to let some bad climate news ruin this beautiful 80-degree October day. <laughs> Manchin, who's from West Virginia, said he would only agree to Biden's bill if it cuts clean energy and officially makes coal one of the five food groups. 